This is part two of the big South African review video and the next account that I will be reviewing is Lollipop Swirl Slimes and you can order through her via DMing her on Instagram. She is based in Johannesburg. The slimes that she sent me came in a really sturdy box and she sent a bunch of extras like this Christmas gummy box. It's super cute and then a big bag full of little extras and notes and she definitely has one of the most professional care sheets I've ever seen it is really done so very nicely all slimes also came very securely wrapped in a lot of bubble wrap so you can expect your slimes to arrive in very good condition. All the slimes also came in really sturdy containers. The first slime is called Unicorn Poo and it is a white glue based slime. The slime did arrive a little bit melted, but I fixed it really easily with a little bit of activator. The slime is so glossy and so clicky and it has a really nice scent, sort of like a um, body butter type scent. This next slime is called Tree Ornaments and it is definitely one of my favorite ones that she sent me it is so pretty the slime is incredibly glossy i don't think it had a particular scent but it also smelled very similar to the previous slime sort of like a, bo a sweet body butter scent and I love the crunch it makes when all the beads rise to the top. It's such a clever slime and I love it to bits. This next sample slime that she sent me is called Orange Sorbet and it's an icy slime. I definitely smelt orange in this slime which I was really impressed about. I didn't particularly like the texture that much, it felt sort of wet when I touched it um, but I love the idea it looks exactly like pulpy orange juice. The fake snowflakes also came off on the table a little bit, but I, you can pick it up easily. This next slime is called Ocean Current, and it's a clear slime with slush beads on top. And it is my favorite one that she sent me. It was absolutely gorgeous and so much fun to play with. I didn't particularly like the scent of this one. It sort of smelled a little bit like glue to me, but my mom said she couldn't smell anything and her sense of smell is way better than mine. But this is definitely, I highly recommend getting this slime from her. None of the beads fell out and I was so impressed with how stretchy her clear slimes are. Really well, well done. This next slime is called Musk and it was a lot of fun to play with after I fixed the stickiness a little bit. It's a really thick slime and I could definitely smell a little bit of a hint of musk. This next one is also a sample slime. I don't know what it's called. She says it's a mystery slime, but it was also a really thick based slime with a few beads sprinkled on top and it also had a really pleasant smell. This next one is called Mermaid and it's also another clear slime, which I was also really excited about. 
This one had the same smell as Ocean Current, so I didn't really like the smell that much, but the texture and everything made up for it completely. It was so much fun to play with. I just had to let it rest a little bit after fixing it with some activator. It turned out to be a really lovely slime and it had a tiny little seahorse charm in it, which was really cute. This is after I left the slime for a few hours just to rest a little bit and I absolutely love the way all the little glitters look inside of the slime after I mixed it and it turned out to be such a lovely stretchy clear slime. This next slime is called Strawberry and Banana and it's another really thick glossy slime which I absolutely love. It also had a little bit of a hint of yellow and pink swirl together which I absolutely adored. It was so pretty and I, I don't know if I'm imagining it but I could smell a hint of banana in it which was really really pleasant. This next slime is called Birthday Cake and it's a white glossy slime with some fake sprinkles in it. I just had to fix it with some activator which is not a problem and it turned out to be such a stretchy lovely slime. It had sort of like a um, sweet smell to it but I think that was just the cream that was used when making the slime but it was really pleasant. I loved reviewing all of these slimes. She definitely has major, major talent in making slimes and creating them, naming them and everything. And keep an eye out on her Instagram page. It's definitely someone to look out for. The next account that I will be reviewing is Bits and Blobs. She is based in Durban, but she does courier all across South Africa. And then you can order slime through her website, which I will link in the description. All the signs came really nicely wrapped in bubble wrap and tissue paper, which I really appreciate. The activator did however leak and it ruined the care sheet so I couldn't read it but she does have one on her website. This first slime is called Peachy Mango and I absolutely love the way the plastic was wrapped around the edges of the slime to prevent leaking. It was really well done and I also love the labelling of all the slimes. This first slime had a really interesting texture, it was really thick and glossy. This slime was a lot of fun to play with but it did initially leave a little bit of a residue on my table. I don't know if that was because the slime was still a little bit too sticky but I cleaned it up really nicely and easily. I could definitely smell peaches in this slime, just like the name suggests. This next slime is called Toasted Marshmallow, and I was so excited when I saw this slime. The scent is out of this world and because of the scent I can highly recommend getting this slime from her. I think it's a sand based slime which was really interesting, it was a lot of fun to play with. But I don't think it was my favourite texture just because the sand tended to go underneath my nails and then I had to take it out the whole time. But it was completely worth it because of the scent and it was just super stretchy and so much fun to play with. She does sell this slime in this color as well as a pink color so when you're on your website you can choose between a pink and a white or sort of beige color. This next slime is called Blueberry Buttercream and again it came really nicely wrapped in plastic. 
This is a very thick clay based slime. I do prefer the softer clay slimes but it was still a lot of fun to play with and I really struggled to get this slime out of the container. I think it's because the opening at the top is so small but once you get it out it's worth it. I absolutely love how vibrant and blue this slime is and it didn't leave a residue on my table but it did however come off underneath my nails a little bit after playing. This is a really really stretchy slime as you can see and it was a lot of fun to play with and it even inflated quite a bit after putting it back in the tub. This next slime is called Snickerdoodle Hot Cocoa and it's also one of my favorite ones that she sent and I can highly recommend getting this one from her if you're planning on buying from her and it is a brown colored clay slime with a few foam beads on top and the scent is in incredible i can't even describe it i think it was like a chocolatey cinnamon scent and it was really difficult to get out of the tub but once you get it out of the tub again like i said before it's worth it i do prefer the softer clay slimes but this one was still really stretchy and so much fun to play with the foam beads gave it a really nice interesting texture All the slimes were very securely packaged and was very professionally presented and all the slimes were so creative and vibrant and colorful and the scents were incredible so I can highly recommend buying from it. The last slime account that I will be reviewing for this video is Saver Slimes. She is based in Johannesburg and you can DM her to order slime. She included two slimes in this review package and then some extras and ready-made activate bottles. And anyone that knows me knows that I absolutely love glitter so this was a really thoughtful add-on. The case sheet was very detailed and well written. This first slime is called Hubba Bubba and she says it is unscented but I could definitely smell a hint of lotion in it which was really pleasant. This is a sand slime which is very interesting texture but I didn't like the sand going underneath my nails but it was worth it because the slime was so nice to play with. Really stretchy and interesting. This next slime is called Nemo and I absolutely love the color of it. It's a very interesting orange color. It's an unscented phloam slime and it's definitely one of the most interesting textures I've ever felt because it's a very thick basic slime and then usually when you add foam beads to a very thick basic slime the foam beads don't tend to stay but there were no foam beads that fell out in this slime it was super stretchy and so much fun to play with
I can highly recommend buying slime from her. They were of very good quality and so interesting and so much fun to play with. Thank you so much for sending me this package.